Um, I've been blessed to work with some amazing female leaders in the past where um, they, they really helped me reshape and redefine um, you know, what is a successful, um, productive, and also compassionate female leader. So I've had, um, you know, worked in companies where, um, again, I just think compassion. Like I've had managements where they understand the need of being a mother, right? So for example, we had staff that had to take off an hour every day to pick up their children. And in our work culture, that is completely okay. It's welcome, right? And we just make sure we set the standards that, you know, while we don't need the woman to stay logged on the computer for like nine to five, you know, in a strict manner, all we care is results, right? You have these set tasks every week. Are you accomplishing these tasks? And it doesn't matter if you're taking an hour off every day to pick up your child. Like that's okay. As long as you're making, you know, um, strides and, and hitting your goals, that's all we care. And so I've been blessed to be in such an environment where I think like that is so empowering or instances where we've also had um, um, female colleagues that um, have really complex health issues and they have to go to regular doctor's check-ins week after week. And in a male dominated space, we've heard arguments of like, oh gosh, that's just, you know, them finding excuses, like not working, but in a compassionate female leadership, like our female leaders are saying, you got to do what you got to do to take good care of yourself. And you can see that when they are giving grace, they're showing compassion and empathy that the women are thriving. And so that gave me such wonderful role models myself. So like as I, you know, right now I lead a team of six people in my trial success management. Um, and in, you know, I would say half of my group are women and some of them are mothers. Um, some of them are wives, you know, they have, you know, they're unique um, situations that need certain accommodations. And, and it's really nice for me to be able to support them, right? Like whether it be family needs or health needs to, um, create that compassionate space so that again I think they can feel safe knowing they can be fully transparent with me if there is an issue whether it's happening in their personal lives or whatnot they can always come to me as a safe space knowing that I will not judge them and I'm not here to you know set them up for failure um, that I am here to find ways to empower them um, and I see you know retention rates goes up so high because you know, a lot of my, um, the people that I, I work with, they're like, we don't want to go elsewhere. Cause like Angela understands that. Like if I have to pick up two of my kids, she's not going to judge me for it. Right. Or sorry, Angela, I can't make it to this one meeting because I need to take my son to the hospital. Like to me, that is completely okay. So, um, I think for me as a leader, um, just making sure that I am empathetic, that I'm available, I'm here to listen to them and I'm here to help them problem solve is what I can do to help the women in my space succeed.